it would appear that I've got a few issues with pronouncing names of players. One in particular being Eric Dyer. Not Deer, how I keep on deciding to pronounce it, and in order to help me do so, I've written myself a lovely, rather large post-it note. I think that's quite appropriate. Shall we get on with today's episode? We are against the might of Chelsea, who are languishing in mid-table, but we'll see how we get on after the intro. Here he is then, the man, the myth, the legend, Eric Dyer. That post-it note is doing its job. Absolutely. And why is it pertinent that I call myself a penis? Well, if you haven't guessed it, that looks like a cock and two balls to me. Football manager is absolute filth. We'll come back to homegrown homegrown hotspur. That's a fantastic welcome. Well done. First episode back this week and you've cocked up how to say it. Ha ha ha, cocked up. You just, because it, oh, oh, never mind. Lost on you lot. So I wanted to discuss something with you all very briefly and that is long-term transfers. Now, Samuel Larson, thank you very much for the suggestion of Mr. Ryan Gould. Now, why am I saying about long-term transfers? It's because he's on loan from Sporting. I think he might be a bit good. And a good option for us at some point, maybe for the left or the right-hand side. Who knows? But because he's on a season-long loan to a Portuguese team that's not sporting, we're going to struggle to sign him. I'm also looking long-term at Mr. Joe Hart. Joseph Charles Hart. Is that his actual name? That is, I think that's his name, isn't it? Let's have a look. Joe Hart. Come on, Joe. Let's see what you say. Charles Joseph, John. Damn it. Being only 29, he's only 20.5. Maybe, maybe he could be next season's keeper. I'm still not convinced by Ben Foster and his rather, well, clangor-prone performances so far. But what I want to know is your suggestions for long-term transfers. Is there anyone else who's either on loan or contract expiring at the end of the season who is one of the four nationalities or maybe sort of squeaks through one of our loopholes. Any suggestions, comment section down below. And whilst you're there, you know what you need to do. Whack a like on this. Smash it as hard as possible. Don't, though, because you want the button to work for the next episode. Because... Double like? Why have I got a pen of my hand? That happens an awful lot. So, since we last met, we've had a few games in between. Roma was the last victory. And the last game, and we followed that up with a 2-0 win against Bournemouth. Away from home, Deli Alley getting both the goals. We were all over them like a, a wet, sloppy rash. I mean, I don't think rashes work that way. It's generally dry skin. But whether it's scientifically possible or not is irrelevant. We battered them. Followed up with a 1-0 defeat in the EFL Cup against Everton. We played a heavily weakened side, as you can see. Lots of the youngsters getting a run out. Freddie Woodman getting his debut. Mason Holgate also making an appearance. Joshua Noma being our standout player for the game. In fact, I've just lied. It was Stephen Corker and he even got player of the match. So, whoops. West Brom 2-0. Again, an absolute battering at home. Look at this possession stat. Well, we're fulfilling that criteria that we need, Mr. Levy, aren't we? And... The most galling of galling... We'd lost against Barcelona at the new Camp. It all was going so well. Oh, an early goal get, got us on our way. A rather dodgy error by Gerard Piquet. Decided he was going to miss the ball. Deli Alley ran 40 yards and then sold to Stegen. Well and truly down the river with a lovely little death. I could just show you the goal, but I, I quite like describing it. And then you can imagine it in your head. Sold him one way, sold him the other and then poked it home. And then Michael King goes and ruins it by allowing an own goal. And then someone passed the ball back to Suarez and he goes and plonks it in because he's an arsehole. So before our game against Chelsea, the league table looks like this. Arsenal are top. They are unbeaten so far this season. Closely 
followed by United, who have lost a game, and as as have Leicester. Leicester surprising everyone by maintaining their title-winning form from the prior season when they were champions. Crystal Palace, I mean, what is going on? Mayhem ensuing. They are a level on points with us. In fact, they've got even higher goal difference, although they have played an extra game. We are fifth, whereas Chelsea are twelfth. That is mental. I mean, are they going to get rid Everton? Jesus Christ. How much money? Like Remy, six goals so far this season. Assists, Benikafobi, top in the charts. For anyone of a particular age, you'll know that that's the countdown thing from Top of the Pops. Not half. Oh, what's this? That's called change again. Of course it is. I realised that maybe three forward players in attacking midfield positions was a bit too difficult to balance and it did become very difficult to do so especially when the attacking midfield players started getting injured when you need to fill three spots with three attacking midfielders when you don't have that many uh, difficult so we've we've rejigged things it kind of works the same way but a mixture of width so we've got a wide player followed by an attacking fullback so we get decent width on the left hand side with a variety of supply to the front players and then we've got Ince playing today against Chelsea we'll be cutting inside hopefully in the space where a phobie leaves we've, we're playing him as a trick artista because it doesn't mean he'll just drop deep he'll go left he'll go right he'll drag them all over the shop so that's the intention and then Ali will also then be pushing on from midfield hoping to get the goals Anyway, it plays nicely. We're playing fluid. Short passing because it's nice and intricate. Keep it a bit narrower. We're getting stuck in. We don't care if we get a few yellow cards. We want to win the ball high up the pitch, which is why we've got closed down much more and the higher tempo. We're really pressing teams. The only issue is with that, we tend to get quite tired. So, got to remember to take higher tempo. And if I forget, smash it in the comment section. Remember, because I have to write another post-it note then. And I'm, I'm, I mean, look at the size of them. I mean, they're gigantic. I'm going to run out of space on my monitor to put the... I've just ruined it all, haven't I? I've said monitor. I mean, really, we're in a football club, aren't we? Yeah, we're in the stadium. I stick it on the seat. That's a f***ing lie. So Chelsea are playing their favoured 3-4-3 formation. Antonio, Antonio Conte, even. His, his favoured formation. It's going to be difficult to break down. They've got a lot of players in that central area. And they've got wide players as well. So hopefully we can get in behind and then maybe swing some crosses in. I'm not entirely sure how to play against this sort of formation. It's so defensive. They're going to be playing heavily on the counter. They've got players in wide areas, so they've got a number of options in which they can spring attack from. Ugh, difficult. Very difficult. I think maybe focusing on the on the right-hand side might be an option. They've got Marcus Alonso, who is the weaker of the two, uh, defen two players defensively, and then John Terry, who's slower than a sack of spuds. I mean, unless it's falling down the stairs, which they're probably quite fast. So we line up with Ben Foster in goal. Defence from left to right is Rose, Lascelles, Keane and Walker. Midfield from left to right is Young, Dia, Hughes and Tom Ince with Deli Alley and Afobi towards the front end of the pitch. That's just a different way, isn't it? I'm sorry. So despite Chelsea's form, they've still got a very, very good team. We're going to have to do very well to beat them, despite being at home. This is going to be a tough ask to break this down and not concede on the counter. John Terry, you are getting absolutely smashed up today because you're in. As is Gary Cahill. If he does come on, so if we break Mr. Terry, we're also going to break Cahill. Why bloody not? Let's be ruthless. Ruthless, not toothless. There you go. Leo, that's another rhyme for you to count. Yes, we have a recognised and volunteered rhyme counter so anyone else if if he misses any you've got to be as aware as he is counting those rhymes because well it's not my job anymore i've delegated to you lot so yeah i'll be watching again we're leaving the team talks vanilla nothing is happening i screw it up look look at the morale at the moment diabolical so we'll leave it as it is and see how we go hopefully we can counter their counters high up the pitch and get in behind no, 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 no. Mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia, let me go. It's back. It's back. 
for those of you that have been long-standing citizens and passengers of the insane train, or nerdlings as someone referred to them, I quite like that, that can stay as well. Yeah, the kazoo. The kazoo, it is back. I found it. I didn't get lost in a suitcase on the way back from Spain. What am I talking about? Spain? What was Spain? Nothing about it. I don't know anything. Should we move on to the game? Oh, another one. Another one. Little pen. It's arrived in my hand again. Will you go away? Goodness sake. Thought I had the kazoo and it's disappeared. It turned to a pen. What is this absolute bollocks? Off we go then. Uh, here we go. We're going to concede early. Oh no, Keen has conceded a foul. So we've conceded something. I was partially right. Marcus Alonso with a free kick. Uh, he's played it back to Hazard. Hazard to Pedro. He's played it wide to Ask Bill Equator. That is a name. Oh, no. For goodness sake. How is that an own goal? So, Ask Bill Equator has plenty of time. Hazard, um, right. He's literally gone off Michael Keane's arse and in. Hughes gets there first ahead of Kante, but he fails to capitalise on it. He's not the quickest of players, Will Hughes. Unfortunately, Ashley Young manages to belt it away. A phobie is on it like a flash, if a flash was quite slow. He can't beat Ivanovic, though. And Courtois, Courtois even clears it up. This has been poor so far. 36% possession. What are we playing at? I mean, seriously, what's going on? Michael Keane is having an absolute shocker so far. Booked and an own goal. Goodness me. we yet to have an opportunity. Hazard whips another. Oh, for goodness sake. Are you absolutely kidding me? Anyone for any other dodgy penalties? Hazard saves, finally. Oh. Justice has been done, you could say. I mean, it's dots hitting dots, to be fair. Deli Alley, can we break? He's played a, a, a strange ball out to a phobia. He just about keeps it in. He's done well. John Terry somehow gets it away from him, despite having three pace. Keane finally does something of use. Deli Alley brings it down. He takes it away from the defender. Asper Equator cannot be beaten, though. Oh, here we go. Here's the counter-attack, but fortunately Rose is there before Pedro is. Deli Alli sprays it wide to Tomins, who's now breaking at pace-ish. But we can't seem to get past this cluster of players in the centre of the pitch. Is that more rhyming? I think it was. Ince, oh, goodness sake, what are you doing? I think a Phobie's link-up play is going to be the issue here. Let's drop him back down, make him a bit more static in that false nine role. Hopefully he can maybe do something of use. Hazard's in behind it and Diego Costa's made them 2-0 up. That's just bloody brilliant. Absolutely bloody brilliant. Maybe we need to start pushing things. Oh, for goodness sake. That was too easy for Hazard to get in behind Walker and Costa. Great finish. Well done, sir. Good one. Piss off. Piss off. We form a Derby connection joining up a Afobi. He finds Deli Alli. Can Deli Alli finish? He can't. He puts it wide. Oh, that was a good chance. And we don't capitalise. We need to get back into this, ultimately. John Terry spread wide. Mm. Choice of words. Not ideal for John Terry there. A phobie does well. And he's he's still doing well. Uh, he's been beaten to it. And oh. Courtois. Just too good. Just too good. Deli Alli. Oh, he's running around. And oh, what a strike against Courtois. But he... Batters it away for a corner. We've looked more lively since that adjustment. Let's hope we can keep the pressure on. Ashley Young whips the, the corner in. And strangely enough, it does beat the first man. Just about Eric Dyer. Now to Hughes or what the hell was that? Takes on his man. Can't beat Kante though. A phobie back to Young. Young's got to whip this ball in. Can he make it count? Courtois again. He's imperious today. Coming to half time. We've not done enough so far. We've had a number of chances that have all been from long range. Chelsea are keeping us at arm's length. Oh, useless. Right, we're going to have to go for it. We're 2-0 down. We're not doing enough with what we're doing so far. Maybe so we'll drop the tempo down. Drop the tempo. Drop the tempo. Drop the tempo. Eric Deer's going to come off. Let's save him. And Keane is also coming off. Despite being our, our best defender or one of our best defenders... Corker is going to replace him. Let's hope he has a, a corker of a, a second half. All right. Come on, lads. There we go. They're motivated. Let's go into this on control. Let's see if we can get a goal. Oh, yeah. We love it. You love it. Joe Ledley, just come on. 
does well to break up the play. A Fobi is crowded out by three players and now Chelsea again have a chance to counter. We just can't seem to break past that back line. Pedro's in and he scored. Too easy. Nacelles lets his man go. Doesn't trace the run. What was that? No, that was Rose. Brilliant. And they're continuing the barrage. We can't seem to get a rub of the green at the moment. We can't seem to string a few passes together. Deli Alley though, breaking at pace. He's got no support, though. And Marcus Alonso steals the ball off him way too easily. He's run out of steam. And there we go. Corker does well in the air, though. Now Deli Alley. Can you spring something, sir? Bring something to the party. A phobia to Deli Alley. And he's he's doing it again from from all that way out, there's just no need. Let's drop it back to counter. We seemed a lot, a lot better on counter. Corker does well with the header. We've got, we've got time. The, the annoying thing is, we keep on, we get a chance. We can't break quick enough. Deli Ali looking for options now. Found a Phoebe. A Phoebe. What are you doing? I mean, he's going for a strike from 30 yards out. What is the point? Right, we're gonna go. We're gonna play wider. Basically, stretch Chelsea. We're going to stick with the shorter passing. Let's pass it into space. Use that pace. So we're hoping to get width from the wings. Danny Rose with the overlap. In fact, let's try and push the overlap. Look for the overlap. There we go. That all makes sense. We need to penetrate. Get in behind. Walker to Young. Into, inside to Hughes. Now Ledley. Ledley finds Deli Alley. who takes another long-range hit. I don't know why he's doing it. I mean, oh, that's rhyming. A phobie finds Young. Can he? Yes! We've got one back. So we've only got 20 minutes to do the impossible. Is is that a way back? Can we pull this back like the proverbial foreskin? A phobie with a fantastic through ball there. Young times his run perfectly and slots it beyond Courtois. Beaten for the first time today. Inst as well against Pedro and Kante just absolutely goes through the side of him. I mean, that's not a thing, but it is now. Hazard gets absolutely rinsed by Walker and Hughes. That sounds like a, a bad pub. And Kante again. Oh, but Deli Ali does equally as well that time. He takes him out of the game. Now Hughes has got time on the ball. Plays it into a phobie. Can a phobie find someone else? Deli Ali driving into space and he's got a corner out of it. That was pointless. Young with a, a last gas free kick. It's cleared. And is that going to be that? Oh, we're offside. Well done, Cork. Oh, stick a cork in it. Useless. And that is that. We've lost 3-1 at heart. Half, half full time. I don't even care anymore. <sighs> Three one loss at home against Chelsea is not not good enough. Conceding early goals stupidly and not being able to find a way back in. That's not the way we need to be going, and that's not the way you look like you know the tactic. Goodness sake. Send the assistant. Shut up, Mark Reed. Right, we're still in fifth. Chelsea have jumped a huge number of places. They're now up to eighth. Uh oh, this is uh, difficult. That brings us to the end of today's episode of Homegrown Hots. But if you've enjoyed it, tickle the like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye for now.